Hello and welcome back to the farm. We are in February and yeah, it's looking um, a tiny bit cold today. No more leaves on the trees or anything. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit cold. To start things off, I want to just quickly check the used machinery market. Not that we're gonna buy anything and not that there's really anything of interest to us other than this tractor, but yeah, money and that, yeah, doesn't really add up. But I have decided on something because we need to prioritize things there are only really two things that I'll be interested in buying. One is a second tractor, which would probably be one that is similar to ours, low in horsepower that we can afford. And two is farmland. And I just quickly want to check what would the price be for something like this. 56,000, 50,000. So these are yeah, affordable. 140, oh dear. Yeah, we really want more land because the more land we have, the more crops we can put in and the more house we can get and the more money we can get in, in in the long run and the more stuff we can get. Now, in February there's nothing really we can do, so I'm just gonna check the contracts here to see if there's anything that we could potentially do and get some extra money or if we should just move into the next month. I'm really not interested in plowing. Cultivating field 69. Where is field 69? Find field 69. Oh dear. Yeah, that's... um. We cultivated field 42 in the last episode. This is more than twice as big. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. I think we will just skip to March because that is when some of the fun begins. Because we will need to seed most of our fields with oats. I believe we decided on oats. I'll check my notes. But yeah, I'll see you in March. All right, I welcome you back to the farm a month later, and I already spot a change. I think we have our first pallets of lettuce. <gasps> we do indeed. Two pallets of lettuce lie right here. I actually did not check the water supply of this greenhouse. Oh, it still, has, it still has good water. Okay, we're still making lettuce. Sweet. Not bad at all. So these are pallets worth, yeah, 500 liters per pallet. So we have a thousand liters right here. I wonder what the price for lettuce is right now, if it's something that we could potentially sell. Let us take a look. Lettuce. That would be for a liter, for 1,000 liters, sorry. That's, um, hmm, price is going down. So this is probably the best price we're gonna get for it. Only issue is, I do not think we have a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> to actually be able to transport it Which could be an issue and in the used machinery sale of course we have a front loader which we purchased in the last episode It would be nice to have something like this But it's fine. It's fine. We, yeah, we don't really need any of this stuff I'm really looking for like a simple trailer where we can just load like pallets and whatnot, but I can't seem to find anything that is Something that we need. Then it would have to be something like this, which is 1500, which is not really worth it. Then I'd rather drive twice with the letters. But there's no rush with that. What we need to look at is this calendar right here, because we are in sowing season when it comes to oats. And I believe soybeans are in April. Yes. Um, hmm. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if oats really are the best thing that we can do. But I think it is, otherwise we would need to skip yet another month, I think. We're gonna do it. We are gonna sow oats. Today. Today is a big day then. Alright, now before we sow, I'm just gonna go ahead and have to refuel some diesel, I think, on this thing. Because, um, well, it is looking a little bit low and we do not want to run out. So better do it now than not do it later. Wait, that didn't make sense. Whatever. Uh, refuel. I don't know how expensive this is gonna be. We don't need a full tank, to be honest. That's not that bad. That will fill, we'll fill it all the way up. We might as well. There we go. I did, by the way, lower the size of the UI. I hope it's not too low or too small for you guys. Do let me know down below in the comments. I will also be able to see that easier when I'm watching the video back. I might increase the scale of it a little bit. Now, 
Let us put in the oats. We already have some seed in our cedar here, which is great. So all we gotta really do is put it to work. There we go. And I'll need to change this to oats. Just like that. We will need to buy some more seeds as well. I'm not sure how much though. So we'll start off with this field down here, I think. Now another reason for why we want to do oats as well is one, we will be able to, when we house this, either we can make bales, which I don't know if we can sell. I believe we can sell the bales. Uh, I want to try and use that. Turn it on. Yeah, we can make bales when we harvest the oats, but we can also turn it, uh, just chop it and leave it on the field, which I've installed the chopped straw mod, which I believe would work with oats as well. Um, which basically makes it so when you leave chopped straw on the field, it gives the field one stage of fertilizer, which makes sense because when you chop it and just leave it, it acts um, as a, I believe, biodegradable. Is that what you call it? Anyway, it gives something back to the ground, uh, to the earth. So that is definitely something worth doing in our case. It just makes it so that the straw chopped isn't just going to waste. And again, it makes sense. This field is really bad when it comes to turning around at this house here. I really don't like it. I should probably do the headland up here a few times back and forth so I can turn around these here. But anyways, we are putting in oats and by the looks of things we're not using seed at a horrible rate. So that's good. So that's really good. And the weather forecast is looking sunny, which is amazing, of course. Nice and bright. Mm, this tractor really does need a service. We should probably give it one. We'll, we'll definitely give the tractor a service at the end of uh, sowing, seeding all of this stuff, because... Yeah. <laughs> we don't want it to go this far down. Alright, final piece. And I think before we continue, I will take this tractor over to the mechanic real quick. <laughs> I don't know how much of an effect it has on the speed or anything like that. But it is going a little bit slow and it could be because of the repair level of the tractor. So we got to take a look at that real quick before we continue to the other field. But that is this field. Pretty much completed. Hello pedestrian, good morning. But that is that field, yeah. Sowed with oat and we used about 25% of the of the seed, so that's not too bad. I'll probably do this field next with the lime. This field, honestly. I'm Yeah, I'm not sure about this field. Mainly because it's a weird one. It's small, it's not very maneuverable. And it gives so little this one field. Maybe I'll find a proper use for it eventually. Maybe if we at some point get some animals, we can maybe... Actually, that's a good point. Because we will need to put maybe eventually buildings if we want to put production buildings, but also animal places and whatnot. We will need land to put it on. So maybe we'll use that field for a building or something in the future. Uh, that's probably the best thing to do with that plot because it just gives so little <laughs> and it's not easy to work with that might be an idea but anyways let's take a look at how costly repairing this tractor would be I speak to the mechanic here 
2,400. You know what? That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad for a full repair. I thought it would be 7,000 something. I'm quite happy with that. I will really quickly as well, actually, before we start seeding the next field, check if there's any contracts we can set a work or two, earn a little bit of extra cash. That's always great. The only thing that's gonna be a little bit of a hassle when we get to the point of harvest is we will have to sell some of the oats, I will assume anyway, right when we harvest it, where the price isn't ideal, which is a bit unfortunate, but maybe... Just maybe we will have to take out an extra loan for a silo because we really need to be able to store the stuff. But anyways, let's take a look at a few contracts here just really quickly. Ah, that is still here. We're not going to do any fertilizing. I'm not going to be part of polluting stuff with that. So no thank you. Sewing. Whoa, what's this? 10,000 field 39. I mean, that's big. That's not too big. That's actually not bad. If I get a worker to do that, even if I just get 5,000, even if I just get half of that. Okay, so that would be, that would leave back 9,000. Yeah, 4,500 4, with me having to do nothing if the worker just does it. Yeah, I'll accept that contract. Uh, wait, hold on. Field 57 is even more. Field 57. Where's that? Field... Okay, yeah, that's well, roughly the same size to be honest, but I'll take I'll take uh, I'll take 39. I will take I could take both honestly. Hmm. I'll take this one. Borrow the items. Taken. Um I will deal with that first actually. What tractor do we have this time? The Valtra Valmet 8750. Okay, it's a beast. I like it. Let's equip the weight first. Let's hop inside here. Oh, nice simple cab. I like it. Oh, oh, oh we're shooting. <laughs> I'm used to the small tractor. Not used to these big things here. Equip the weight. That's a lot of sticks changing when I... Oh, wow. I love that. Okay, let's equip the planter. Nice. Do I need to buy the seed as well? It said fill it with seed. Do I need to? Do I seriously need to buy the seed? Oh dear. Okay, well, it it wants sugar beet. I think I need to buy the seed as well, which I did not account for. Let's double check. Bonus offers a reward of for sewing. Yep, yeah, I think. I think I have to buy the seeds. Okay, uh, that's fine, I suppose. <laughs> uh, big bags, seeds. I don't know what the capacity of this thing is. I mean, whatever's left, we can use it. Okay, I think I might have bought a little bit too much, but you know what? We can use it. If we don't need it in that field, okay. I just need to figure out where I gotta go. I mean, it's one of our neighboring fields, so it shouldn't be too difficult. I was wondering if we could turn here. It appears that we can, according to that car, anyway. <laughs> And this field seems to be it. I think I'm gonna turn back or turn down here to the other end where it's straight. I think that's gonna be easier to work with. Okay, what side is okay, so I need to turn around a little bit here because I need to attach to the planter on that side. Ideally I should have done this in the grass, so we are not compacting the dirt, but that's not a thing in this game. Thankfully. <laughs> Alright, do I need to unfold? I do need to unfold this thing. Okay. Do 
in this position. I think I'm gonna do one pass. Just because I really wanna try this thing. So I think we lower. Turn on. Oh, nice. This is actually doing it pretty fast as well. Very fast, actually. Oh, yeah, I can't see. <laughs> Missing anything? Nope, I'm good. Okay. This is fun. There's a lot of gear changing happening. I'm glad that it's automatic at the moment. <laughs> I do have a gear shifter, but I haven't really looked into setting up switching gears manually yet. It is consuming seeds a little bit fast. Shouldn't be an issue. Did I really do that whole thing without missing anything? I did. Alright. Off it goes. Very good. We can return to our own field with our... <laughs> okay, this thing looks kind of small now. Um... Yeah, <laughs> the working width of this thing is now tiny in comparison. <laughs> oh man. We will upgrade eventually. Eventually we will get a lot of stuff, a lot of money, and we can upgrade our gear. You know what, this might be actually one of the better ways of doing this field. Just going up and then reverse back. That could be the way of doing this field, as long as I don't miss bits of, of course. Alright, final swath here, and that is our first wage payment going out, $195, which I'm curious to see how far it is. Almost halfway. So I think we will use probably about maybe $600, $600 in wage payment. So that should give us about $8,000 actually, minus the $1,000 that we use for seeds, but we will be able to use uh, some of that ourselves most of it actually I think uh, maybe actually it will probably require more because it was using quite a bit um, but yeah other than that if we subtract that I think 8,000 ah, that is tank is empty <laughs> that is all right I will need to sort that out all right all this is sorted I'm gonna place the cedar over here this is the field we will be doing next And I will have to attach the front loader to this thing and carry the backs over to the planter. That's probably going to be the most efficient way of doing it. And I can bring them back here as well. Nice. Alright, let's head on over to the shop. There we go. Perfect. All right. Hmm. I wonder if they're... I think they go in the small ones. Yep. They do. All right. They are full. There you go. So that's another 700, so... We should have about 600 liters in total left in these bags right here. And yeah, it's pretty much halfway. It will be needing another ref uh, refill though, so I'll place them 
Yeah, we'll place them all here. I will have to come back. I'm just gonna look again, now that we have the front loader attached. Hmm. Where is that? It's right next door. Um, I guess we might as well sell the lettuce. Since we have it. I guess we might as well sell it right off the bat. I guess there's no real reason to wait. As I don't think the price is going to be any better. We might as well sell it now. We could wait till we have a lot more. But then we would need a trailer anyway. But as it is now, I think I would be able to stack two, two pallets or so. So yeah, I think we will be selling the letters. Well, not the best stacking in the world, but... Okay, definitely not the best stacking in the world. That's better. Aha! This is trickier than it looks with a mouse. I'm not used to it. <laughs> There we go, though. I don't think that's gonna fall off if I just drive very carefully. Alright, it's right over here to the right. It does look like it's shifting on its own a little bit, but I think we will survive the trip. Here it is. Here is your two pallets of fresh lettuce. Nice. Just gotta wait for it. 1087 dollars made. Our I think our first actual income from the farm. I think that might be our very first actual income. From the farm. Not bad at all. I will be needing this front loader again very soon. So I will simply attach it or detach it right here. I will need it to refill the planter over there again. Look at that masterful driving. Perfect. Come on, you gotta admit that was good. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I will continue this and I will be back when this field is finished. I will see you then.
All right, the AI just finished in that field, which means the contract should show us complete, but it doesn't. Oh, no, it is complete. Okay, perfect. Collect. So that was 9,208 from that contract. So if we subtract the worker fees, which I believe was about $700 or so, uh, the 1,600, was it 1,000? Yeah, 1,600 for the seeds. And I've, I've, okay, I forgot to, so we had extra seed in that planter, but I was an idiot and I forgot to empty it. I thought to myself, remember to take out the seed before you finish the contract, but now I forgot. <laughs> oh, well, 1,600. Uh, so yeah, we made about 7,000, 6,000 or so from that contract without me having to do barely anything. All I had to do was refill it, and to be honest, I didn't have to use the front loader, but I just thought it was more enjoyable that way, so I did it. I could have just driven up to it and pressed R to refill, but I didn't. I liked it the other way. So, yeah. That was not bad. This should be the final strip right here. And we'll take a look at the map to see how, it's, how it looks. And see if I miss any bits. So now I do see those lines right there, but I don't know if it will actually mean anything. If it doesn't show up on the map, it'll be fine. But yeah, look at that. We now have $21,666 right there. That's not too bad at all. And done. Let's take a look here. Yeah. Pretty good. I think these pieces out here, that's where this, I think I didn't, uh, the cultivator didn't reach just quite at the edge there, so that's fine. Okay. A job well done. The oat is now in the ground. Very, very good. Now, I think that I'm going to put the cedar away. And then... I'm going to take a quick look over by the greenhouse because I might buy a second one. We got enough money for it. We got enough space for it. I think I might do that. Let's just for the fun of it, see how it would look. So if we go into construction, I said construction, production, greenhouses, and then this is the one that we have right here. The only bad thing is the yellow uh, marker right there. We would need enough space in order to get uh, have access to it, but I guess we could place it even right here. That could work. That's just not very ideal. But I could place it here and then just move the pallets, uh, pallets by hand to a place where I can reach it with the front loader. I mean, I could place it like that as well. That would make sense too. I want to do it. I am very, very tempted to do it. Because it costs 5,000, all we gotta do is fill it with water from the lake, and then boom, there you go. Money, basically. I will attach this, because either way it shouldn't be here, really. Nice. And I think I'll remove that header with the combine. Let's do a little bit of cleanup. Oh, we have... Hold up. We have corn in this thing? Hold up. Corn. What's the price of corn? So price fluctuations. February. Hmm. I'd say it's good enough to sell. This would be the best place. That's the train, obviously. It would get like 900 something for it. Okay. I mean, I did not realize we had corn in this thing still. Let's definitely empty that into the trailer at the very least. It's not a whole lot, but we definitely should get get rid of it. <laughs> I did not realize we had the corn in there. I forgot about that. Let's do what I originally wanted to do. Simply move the header. There we go. Good enough. Back in the shed you go. All right. There's going to be a very small amount of money here. Let me just 
make sure that I have the right thing. Tip side back. Yep. That's what we want. Yep. $930. Not much, as expected, but something. It is almost the fifth or 20% of a greenhouse. Would you look at that? How convenient. Yeah, I think we will be placing a second greenhouse down. I think it just makes sense. It's only 5,000, you give it water and lettuce grows. So I think that is something that we will have to do. And I know exactly the way to rotate it as well. Let's head into the shop, construction, production, uh, greenhouses. Now this thing obviously would be, it would be 10, can we place this anywhere? I mean, obviously we could place it here, which would be a little bit in the way. Anyway, we don't have space for it anyway. We're gonna place this right here. I just wanna try and get it straight. Right there. Yep. Dropping it in. Boop. $5,288. Not bad. So we add the water here. Palace spawn here. I should have probably thought about that when we place this one, but it is accessible enough. It's accessible enough. I can always move them over uh, using muscle. <laughs> uh, so if we go in here... So we can now see we have two medium greenhouses here. So I'll go ahead and activate this and I'll set to, yeah, it's set to storing. All right, so now it is just missing water. We will take care of that right away. All right, let's see how we can do this. Aha, I don't have to be super close. Perfect. All right. Let's take a quick look. Lovely greenhouse. Yep, 6,000. So I can fill it up again and then give the rest to the greenhouse. Very good. Fill this greenhouse all the way up. There we go. And give the rest to this one over here. Don't know if it will take it all. It probably will. Yeah, it did. Alright. Uh, it probably shouldn't leave the water tanker right here in the open. Oh, right here in the open. Easy access. Boom. Alright. I think that concludes this episode we've got the oats in very good we did some uh we did a job as well got some pretty decent money we did another greenhouse or we bought another greenhouse which is really good turn off the engine lights are off indeed all right yeah pretty good one thing i do want to take a look at if we go into construction here and silos if we go all the way back i installed a silo mod now, it's not really all of them that I'm interested in. It's mainly this one to 30,000, which is something that we can afford. And to, uh, 250,000 liter liters compared to uh, the normal game here, where we would need to pay 120,000 for 400,000 liters of storage. And plus, it also looks a lot more fancy. For a couple thousand extra, it would be 500,000. And then for... 20,000 extra, it would be 800. The only reason why I'm not interested in these two is that this is 20 million for only 90,000, which I find maybe a little bit over the top. I don't know which one of these are more, are more accurate. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'm keeping this mod or not. But if I am, this is a silo that we would definitely be interested in getting because we can store stuff here and we can also take stuff from it which is exactly what we need and it is in it within our price range um 
So yeah, that is something that is to be considered. A solar generator for 10,000. That's definitely something to consider. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting carried away here. I will have to take a, take a look at some of that. But anyway, so that's going to do it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing and enabling those notifications to not miss another episode. But anyways, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.